we continue to follow breaking news from overnight here in Nashville. A security guard shot and killed at a downtown liquor store. It led to gunfire between Metro officers and the suspect who is still alive this morning and talking. News Channel 5's Amelia Young is live from Frugal McDougal's where the shooting happened and we're told the suspect actually fired two separate times at police. Is that right? Yeah, that's right, Ben, and that all happened, like you said, here at Frugal McDougal's downtown. The TBI is investigating actually two separate incidents that happened during uh, this overnight incident. They're still on scene here this morning. You can see them there. They found a Metro officer found uh, the suspect in the back of the store when they got to the scene. They were yelling at him to drop his gun, get on the ground and put his hands up. That's when body camera footage shows us he began firing at officers. Tell you Show me your hand! Show me your hand! Show me Metro police say two officers shot back at the suspect during that moment, but then he once again returned fire for a second time, prompting the same officers to shoot and wound the suspect there. They were able to restrain him and were told he was taken to Vanderbilt and is alert and awake this morning. This all began though when the unidentified 40 year old suspect tried to shoplift a beer from the liquor store. 59 year old Robert Meek, a security guard for Frugal McDougal's, escorted the man out of the store. Sometime later, the suspect returned and the two got into a fight in the parking lot. That's when police say the suspect grabbed Meek's gun and fatally shot him. We are uh very sorry uh, for what has happened to Mr. Meek. Our uh, thoughts and prayers are with Mr. Meek's family. Uh, Mr. Meek uh, is, was actually uh, the brother of a retired Metro police officer who passed away some years ago. Now the TBI is investigating both of those shootings, the Metro officers uh, shooting with the suspect and then also the suspect with Meek there. And police also say there were a number of witnesses here uh, at the store at the time that they will be interviewing uh, in the coming days. So